We're back with you with Dr. Jeffrey Hatcher, Chief Medical Officer for Wesley Long Hospital, and he's sharing ways to use experiences as part of your 2022 New Year's resolutions, especially in the midst of this pandemic. I know you wanted to make one more um, piece of information known to folks when it comes to blood donation. I think that, you know, one of, one of my good friends, he had a group that he went with and they blow, donated blood every six weeks. And, uh, you know, I, I used to go and donate blood with a really good friend of mine. And I think it's a really good way to, one, make a commitment and have somebody help you stay accountable to it. And, you know, a lot of people are afraid to give blood, quite honestly, and um, and I am a little bit. And uh, it's great to go with somebody who, who you're friends with and you sort of support each other and sort of help each other out and watch each other thing. So it, it's a good way to do it. Yep, you can talk about other things, keep your mind off it maybe a little bit, crack a few jokes, this is all good. All right, well, that leads us into the next one, which is be present and take each day one at a time. And sometimes that's been a little difficult, especially during the pandemic. Yeah, I think that is really one of the tough things about being in the middle of a pandemic is it can be feel so so overwhelming and really for healthcare providers as, as well as anybody. Um, but I think the trick is to sort of be present in the moment. Um, you know, what I tell myself a lot is, you know, this this is not forever. You know, this is not gonna be my forever life. Um, and realize that there are other good things that are going on in your life and other great things that will happen in the future and sort of just keep, keep your eye looking forward. Yeah, because the next day is gonna happen anyway. So at least find one thing, if you can find one thing that day. Okay, how about this? Know your options for care. And I think that's interesting because I think sometimes when we're unsure of anything, that leads to the stress. Yeah, I think that's part of uh, the idea of making sure you have a good primary care provider, um, a good doctor who can help you sort of navigate the, the system and navigate what your choices are um, and what your needs are. And, and that's, that's really important. You know, I think that uh, a lot of people struggle with that, um, whether it's reaching out to a, a friend or somebody they trust and getting a good referral for somebody who they think will be a good doctor for them. You know, it, it can be tough to find a really good doctor. It's a it's a tricky relationship. It's somebody you have to really trust and be available to, you know, you need to be available to each other and make sure that you can share really personal information. And so that's, that's super important is finding somebody who fits that, that role in your life. Okay, so a resolution, find someone that you can trust for your medical care. Now, if you don't have a primary care provider right now, um, what happens if you get sick? You're saying don't wait to schedule an appointment. Absolutely. You know, there, there are lots of great resources on the Cone website to go and find find primary care physicians. Um, again, it, certainly you can reach out to people you know and will, um, you know, give you good recommendations. I That's certainly something a lot of my friends have leaned on me for, and I really appreciate it. Okay, and last but not least, one that so many of us put on our resolutions every single year, have a fitness or exercise goal. I love this because, uh, you know, I think the people who know me know that what I, I love to do is exercise. And uh, I think the trick for, for exercise, and I tell this to my patients when they say they don't, they don't like doing it, and I say, well, what, what do you like to do that's exercise? And really it's to find something that you enjoy doing and not make it feel like work. Um, you know, find something you think is really fun. Sometimes it's being with friends who you're engaging in a similar activity, whether it's cycling or, or running or again, kayaking, whitewater kayaking, or, you know, whatever it is, Pilates, uh, you know, fitness classes, whatever, whatever it is that gets you motivated to be around other people and to reach your goals. Even if it's just getting up playing cornhole on a Saturday afternoon, <laughs> that at least gets your blood pumping a little bit. What happens for those folks who are in that cycle? And it's that cycle of, I know I need to work out and I really want to work out and I'm miserable not working out, but yet I just can't get myself out of bed to do that. Yeah, I think for, for me, it, it revolves around, I mean, I've, I've had some really good friends who have lost a, a, a bunch of weight this year through really, you know, really committing themselves to that. And my question to them isn't really about how much weight have you lost? It's how do you feel? And so how does it feel to just sit on the couch all day as opposed to going out and doing something which will affect your life in lots of different ways? It'll make you feel empowered by exercising. Um, it'll give you sort of that endorphin high from exercising. Um, it'll give you that sense that, uh, you know, you're really doing something positive for yourself. And um, those are really great things that are you can't get from sitting on the couch, quite honestly. And so, you know, think about think about those things and think about how it's going to make you feel. That's the big difference for me. I really do like that. How does it make you feel? Because sitting on the couch doesn't make me feel great. 
<laughs> <laughs> but but getting up and doing something, even if it's just for 15 or 25 minutes, does make me feel better. I can even check something off my list that I did something good. So I understand that. Thanks for putting it that way. All right, Dr. Hatcher, thank you. If you missed any of this, you can find the information on our website, WFMYNews2.com.